I can't believe I missed the foot touch in the last episode. I'm so sorry. <laughs> What's going on guys? My name is Morgan and welcome to or back to my channel. Today we are reacting to more Our Flag Means Death. We are picking up with episode 9 called Acts of Grace. They just got captured in the last one, so we're gonna see where this goes. I don't know how they're gonna get out of this. Unless, I don't know, maybe Izzy feels remorse for selling out Blackbeard and when he finds out Blackbeard got captured with the rest of them, maybe then he'll step in. And we also got Jim, so maybe Jim will help as well. I don't really know. I'm trying to think of all the other players that we've had throughout the story that could possibly help. I guess we're, we'll figure that out in this episode, or maybe later on. Um, as always, before we get into if you want the full uncut video, that's available over on the Patreon. And if you want to follow me on social media, you can do so here. And also on Patreon, I have Patreon exclusives. I started Vox Machina, which is a Patreon exclusive. And once I finish that, because I'm almost done with it, and I'm in a David Tennant rabbit hole now that I've met the man, I'm going to start Inside Man. Elijah actually recommended the show to me, because that's what got her into David Tennant. That's what she knew him from. So I'm definitely going to check it out. It's only four episodes long, too, so I'm going to have that as a Patreon exclusive once I finish up with Vox. So before we start, very fitting stuff I got sent to me. First of all, we got this adorable keychain where Ed's a little kraken and then Steed is on the boat and it's very cute. It's like the second collection to my, my Our Flag Means Death merch. Speaking of Our Flag Means Death merch and also Good Omens merch, look at this print. I never thought I would need Crowley and Ed in the same picture, but clearly I was mistaken because they go so well together. Look at the black. They both wear so much black and then there's the orange and it's just so pretty. It's such a pretty print and I love that I get to mix some Our Flag Means Death with Good Omens. And then also so speaking of good omens, I want to say this is a bookmark uh, because it like it like clamps. It's like magnetic and it clamps. I want to say this is a bookmark. I'm not entirely sure, but it's very cute. And then on the other side, it like oh oh my heart. And then also this made me laugh. The little <laughs> I love that little autism creature. That that little autism creature has become me. The I'm just constantly doing it lately. So seeing Aziraphale and Crowley like that, it was adorable. Thank you so much, Jody. So news since the last time I recorded this, I was actually at Supercon last week and I got to meet Vico and Samba, the actors of Roach and Jim. And they were super sweet people. I adore them. They're little beans. And it was so nice getting to meet them. And I got a hug from Vico and they're just the sweetest little bean. I love them so much. I went there for David Tennant in the first place, but when I found they were going to be there as well, I'm like, I have to meet them now that I've started the show. So with all that being said, let's get into this. Uh, do you have a translator? I have very little English. I also don't speak English as well. <laughs> Smart. Don't oh. know anything about any of this or any of the people involved. Now that they're all caught, they're like, I have no, what, what even is a pirate? I've got no idea. What English? No hablé inglés. <laughs> Strong reader slash writer. So. Both. Double threat. <laughs> In case you're hiring after all of this. Shoot your shot, Lucius. If it's doesn't mean death. Welcome. No, 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 no. Understandable. Does look exactly like him. How is your brother, Nigel? Is he? Is he well? Oh boy. I have it on very good authority that he was on board this vessel. Where's the proof? In your company. Where's the proof? Never. I heard it from the witnesses. Hearsay. To his murder. There were no actual witnesses when it happened. They saw a dead body, but maybe he did it to himself. Who knows? No proof. No proof. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm not taking this seriously. I really should. Okay, so there was that one person that got away that rode the boat. That has to be the witness. Because the other two ended up being hostages. Sweetie, why are you holding yourself like that? Oh, sweetie. I have steered the channel. I grabbed it when we got boarded. Oh. You gotta get rid of that, babe. I know that, babe. But I can't get to the side of the ship to throw it over. Hey, oh, true. Pretend you're seasick! Look, trust me, I was born for this kind of espionage. Oh boy. What's your problem? Darky? Your face? I was not ready for that. Oh my god. I I internally just clutched my pearls. <gasps> Ooh, I was not ready for that, that racism. Ooh. You know that feeling when you're at a family reunion and they say something super fucked up and you just have to sit there, but internally you cringe? That's what just happened to me. Ooh, okay. But thank you for smacking him, Roach. Very well deserved. Do it again. Use your fist this time. Go, 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 Wow, Frenchie. What's this? Frenchie! 
My wondrous journey, a life at sea. A bit of fan fiction. A fan fiction? <laughs> You're a fan. A true journal of the life and happenings of Steve Bonnet. Bonnet, yeah. Mm. It, well, it's written... To it's an AU. It's, it's an AU. Grabby marketing hook. Get back. A vast ye, I snap. God damn it, Frenchie, you had one job! Room. P -p -p Please don't kill me, Nigel whined, having soiled himself. Okay, that, that is a fan fiction because that's not what fucking happened. <laughs> what? The exaggerations are going to bite you so hard in the ass, Steed. Oh my god. Of course, I don't believe any of it. Yeah, no. Blackbeard confessed to the crime moments ago. No! Ed! Yeah, and how did you kill him? Ah, oh, the huge uh, stabbing. He's taking the blame. Oh my god. He's only ever been directly responsible for his father's murder, even though, you know, he did set boats on fire with people inside of them. And according to him, the fire killed them, but he still technically killed them. But I'm saying, like, direct stabbing or choking was only his father that we know of. Honestly, it makes much more sense. After all, you're just some bored little rich boy, and that's all you'll ever be. The thing I never understood with his father, you're resenting him for being a little rich boy. You're the parent. You made him a little rich boy. Why are you mad at him for that? It's your own fault. And he wasn't even being like a spoiled brat. He was just not what you wanted him to be, so you're being a dick. Fuck the fathers in the show. Steed's the only one that's been a decent one so far, and he abandoned his family. <laughs> but he's been the most decent one so far. I'm sorry. I... The tears in his Nigel eyes. Stole a sword, and I jammed it through his head. Why don't you tell them the truth that he fell on it? I killed him. Oh, the tears. Fire! Oh, oh, dear. oh they're preparing you to do that, Steve. In the name of his majesty, King George, this tribunal shall come to order. It's just Blackbeard. Like, just run it together as one word. Blackbeard. You have to put a gap in there. <laughs> you face death for general crimes of piracy against the crown. But a friend of the crown has prevailed upon me to remand you to his custody. Who? He shall be released to Captain Hands in exchange for his service to the king. Who the fuck is a friend of the king that would, that would want this? But a friend of the crown has prevailed upon me to remand you to his custody. You shall be released to Captain Hands. A friend of the, Who is a friend of the crown that would be on their side? Not Spanish Jackie, not Jim. Izzy's there, so no. He gave us up. Yep. State bonnet for the wanton murder of Nigel Badminton. Your sentence is death by firing squad. We'll find a way out of this again. No, no, I deserve this. You didn't even mean to do it! In a man's life, he has to face the music and the people he's hurt. Oh, the remorse for your wife. It's time, Ed. Edward. I have confessed! I know you're upset, but it was the only. <laughs> you deserved that! You said when you made me first mate, above all else is loyalty to your captain. Rifles of the ready! Oh, God. Is he no, gonna jump God. in the way? Is fucking Ed about to jump in the way of these goddamn rifles? I'm so scared. He is reckless. It seems like something he would fucking do, and I'm so nervous because of it. And I was never gonna. And he's looking. You destroy yourself for that. What? Act of grace. What's an act of grace? Act of grace. Act of grace. Act of grace. Act of grace. What? What's an act of grace? What he said. What's the act of grace? Thank you. I, King George, do hereby proclaim and pledge his service to the crown in their war against the Spanish shall be granted amnesty forthwith. Well, I'm glad we got a uh, explanation for that. By saying act of grace, they're giving up their life of piracy and they're going to work for the crown instead. I'm afraid the offer doesn't extend to you, Bonnet. After all, Why? the king was only referring to real pirates. It's from my world, not yours. Raise your rifles! Raided a commercial vessel after overwhelming the hardy crew. We claimed a prize of lush vegetation in conquest. Here's an illustration for reference. <laughs> and here's a vegetation in question. They'll never forget the eccentric <laughs> pirate bonnet and his savage, insane, vengeful pirate horde. See, he's a pirate. A real proper pirate. A proper pirate. Let's go, guys! Some bite if I ever seen one. Why do you all show such loyalty to this? Because he showed it to them! Nothing. 
I'd attribute quite a lot of it to a people-positive management style. Shut up! Stand down, Admiral, or we'll be forced to take measures. He's the criminal! All right! He's the murderer! Calm right. down, Mr. Wavy Blade! Give it a break. Wavy Blade! Freaking us all out. Chauncey, when we get a bit angry, do you know what we like to do? Talk it out. We talk it through. Yes, we do! I'm so surprised this crew's actually turning on him. I'm glad, because the dude, while he did lose his brother, is acting a little batshit bananas, but I'm surprised they're actually, like, tackling him. I don't know much about, like, the English Navy and their allegiance. I assume because it's an act of grace and it was signed by the king, they're more loyal to the law itself than badminton's wishes. I don't know. That That's that's what I would assume anyway. Big document. Yeah, look at the different sizes of the phone. Yeah, what the fuck? There you in and all these tiny little ones. That's, that's where all the tricks are. That's where all the tricks are, yep. Uh-oh, here yep, you go. two pages. Page. For ten years of service to the king, bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. Oh, we can still shoot you. No, that'll be lovely. Oh, you guys should have read it, though. Well, it's only valid if Mr. Teach signs on. You really don't have to do this. Yeah, I know I don't. He cares about him so much. Think what you're doing, Ed. Do you really want to lick the king's boots? You're the one that started this, Izzy! You gave him up! Get fucked! Shut up! You told Steve, don't you ever know when to shut up? Don't you ever know when to shut up, Izzy? You caused this! You gave him up! I'm so mad. You are dead. Excuse me? According to these records, Steve Bonnet's been deceased for months. Oh, did his wife That's, file that? Uh, obviously a clerical error. Or perhaps a different Steve Bonnet. It's quite a common name. Wife Mary Bonnet. Oh, yep. Yeah. Next! We're not gonna bother fixing that, because he is in fact still alive. Or did Mary report me dead? Out of spite. She probably thought you were gonna die as a pirate. Would it be an empty- Oh! What? What have they done with your face? Yeah, the beard wasn't regulation, so I had to go. Oh. I didn't even think it was the same person. I thought he was just talking to the wrong bunkmate the whole time. <laughs> he looks so different without the beard. I didn't even know that was still Ed. Oh my God. You can't be Blackbeard without your black beard. My beard hasn't been black since I was young. It was gray beard, if anything. <laughs> Salt and pepper beard. Salt and pepper beard. beard. You've kept the clippings, haven't you? So we can make fake heads and escape. Steve, get it straight, I don't think mate. so. I'm folding stuff. And that's okay. That's that. Do you need anything folded? Shirt, your socks? Oh, he's gonna feel such immense guilt. Oh, he's gonna feel such immense guilt. Mm, I see that look in his eyes. He's gonna blame himself for everything. <sighs> it's frustrating because Ed did make this decision himself, but it was because he cares about Steed so much and couldn't bear to see him die. That speaks so much to him as a person and how close he is with Steed. When they uh, rescued Steed in the first place, he lost men and didn't really dwell on it. But the fact that he couldn't bear losing Steed just shows you how much he cares about him. And that's melting my heart. <laughs> as I from the fan can attest to, needs more salt. So wait, they didn't get acts of grace even though they yelled it. Is that because they weren't captains? Is that why? But you would think because they're pirates, they would have been taken in. Is this supposed to make sense or am I just not getting it? Izzy's revenge. <laughs> Izzy's revenge sounds a bit like an intestinal condition. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what the condition of your intestine might be after say. No rations for a week? You're such a prick, dude. The fake heads idea wasn't bad. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was actually pretty good. Stupid idea. It's kind of nice just to take a load off. I imagine so, just after living the life you've lived. Making some poor bloke eat his own toes as a laugh. Yuck. Yeah, your time with Jack, it seems there? like. Right now, I just want to do what makes Ed happy. Yeah, what and does what make Ed happy? Ed happy. Okay, I, I need to stop. That's happened so many times in this show. <laughs> These past few weeks have been the most fun I've had in ages. Yes! Years. Maybe ever. Yes! I love to hear that, Ed. So, I reckon what makes Ed happy... Is Steve. Is you. Oh, I'm a 
love them. No, that's uh, that's. Oh. Let's fucking go! <laughs> I was not ready for that. They were before. We'll go somewhere they'll never find us. What about your old crew? Got a At least steeds. Our old lives be gone, dead. Never were. What do you say? Oh, we never would have chosen each other. Not in a million years. Oh, is he gonna but learn he can't run from his mistakes? One life. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought yes. he was gonna take a lesson from Mary. I think so. Yes. Okay, that's nine for mutiny and zero against. Are you guys Fair sure enough. you're up for this? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Around Peter, he can't be first mate. I saw him talking to Izzy about it before. Never. Mm -hmm. Disaster. Yeah, yeah. No offense, Lucius. Oh God, no! Don't apologize to me. I mean, I love that man, but um, leadership's not his strength. All right. Well, the second thing is. Oh. <laughs> who's going to be in charge? Someone who has the entire crew in mind, not just themselves. Alawande. It's you. Yes. No, it's only one choice. No, 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 no. I get, no, I don't yes. want it. I'm officially taking myself out of the running. Thank you. Well, I reckon that settles it. The only good captains are the ones that hate being captains, eh? <laughs> oh, I know. I don't want to under your captain. No, seriously, I'm... captain, 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 captain. And escort you out, okay? You're gonna meet me down at the beach. I'm gonna be about half an hour behind you, but there'll be a dinghy waiting. Are we sure he can be trusted? I don't like that these English Navy officers are being trusted. I'm nervous. Oh, God. Oh, not you. Of course you wouldn't just let it go. Do you know what conclusion I've reached? Turn around. This dude is unhinged. This Steve button. Bonnet is not a human. Just breathe. You're a monster. Your brother Plague. was a monster. Defile beautiful things. My dear brother, your own family. You've even managed to bring history's greatest pirate to ruin. And here you are. Unscathed. You had to say this, because he's not self-loathing enough. You had to say this shit. You're as insufferable as your brother. I completely agree. The bonnet reign of terror instantly. <laughs> Is it just genetics to be this stupid to where you just keep ramming things through your own eyeballs, whether it's a sword or a bullet? Is it a family tradition? What is it at this point? <laughs> Ow! Ow! Oh my god, how did they make it this far in life? I'll never understand. And now they're gonna they're gonna say Steed did it. Now they're gonna say Steed did it. Steed. And he just never showed up? Where'd he go? Oh, is he afraid he's gonna ruin Blackbeard's life and he 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 just left? What's that light coming from? Like, oh, sunrise. Okay, I was like, did someone catch him? Oh. For the record, I never formally accepted the role of person. <laughs> I fully endorse this mute. I fully endorse. Two, three. Is he? Like Tim or so close. What happened to his beard? Yeah, it's quite the shock. Wait, did he go home? He went home? I'm home. Yeah, I would shake too. Of course the Reap What You Sow song is playing at the end. <laughs> God damn it. Are you shitting me? Of all the places he could have gone, home was not even on the list of places I thought he would go. I guess it makes sense though, because he feels very guilty about leaving his wife and children, and especially all the shit that Badminton said, and he's convinced he just ruins everyone's lives. Oh, but poor Ed. Ed was so open with him and ready to 
to start, you know, new lives with him, and he was just, oh, poor Ed, it's gotta hurt, buddy. Being so open with somebody, and then that happening. I feel so bad for both of them. That is so wild. I was not expecting that at all. My mom's gonna be so upset when I show her this episode and it leaves off like that, and I'm gonna have to tell her we have to wait another week before I can continue watching it with her. <laughs> She's gonna be so mad, because when we ended off on episode 8 last night, and she's like, Morgan, you need to go record this episode right now, or get it done tomorrow so we can watch the next episode. I need to know what happens. She is invested in this show now, and when it ends on that, and we can't watch it for a week, she's gonna be pissed. Pray for my poor mom. <laughs> Okay, that was not at all how I was expecting. Part of me accepted halfway through that they were just going to live their lives like this for a while. I was expecting partially a jump cut or something, or like their adventures on the seas, like fighting for England. I, I like made peace with it halfway through because I just, because it seemed like uh, Ed gave up. I'm glad that's not the route they're going with it, but I was honestly expecting that it took the amount of turns it did for the show be wild and 24-7. It's always something. I look forward to what next week brings. I hope he goes back to his ship. He wasn't happy with his life. Maybe he could talk it out with Mary, though. Maybe they can actually discuss things. Mary can send him on his way. Who knows? I don't. Well, that was episode 9, Act of Grace. Definitely was not expecting any of that. As always, uh, if you want the full uncut reaction, that's available on the Patreon. It's about 43 minutes at this point. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments below. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace.